Jet engines are the hearts of aircraft, they have successfully revolutionized the world for over a century now. In this video, we'll explain the technology behind the working of a jet engine in a logical and step-by-step -step manner. A jet engine works on a basic principle, Newton's third law of motion. The reaction force produced by the jet engine helps the aircraft to move. In simple words, the working of the jet is producing a high-speed jet at the end of the engine which will counter the drag produced on the aircraft and help to move forward. So we can say that the higher the velocity of the outcoming jet, higher the thrust and higher the speed of the aircraft. But let's dive into how high-speed jet is produced in the jet engine. If you can heat the incoming cold air, it will expand tremendously and produce a high-speed jet, for heating the air. A combustion chamber is used which will combine the fuel and cold air to produce high-speed hot air. But for combustion, the air should be at a moderate temperature and pressure, so a set of compressor stages are used to compress the incoming air and make it suitable for combustion. The compressor receives the energy to rotate from the turbines placed right after the combustion chamber. The turbine and the compressor are connected to the same shaft which will make them rotate at the same speed when the hot air leaves the combustion chamber. As you can see the blades of the turbine have a special airfoil shape which produces a lift force and turns the turbine. Here our objective is completed, a really hot high-speed jet emitted from the exit of the engine. The engine case becomes narrower towards the outlet, resulting in even greater jet velocity. Modern aircraft use a slightly improvised arrangement of compressor and turbine known as two-spool engine, this type of engine uses an outer compressor and an outer turbine connected concentrically. The rotation speed of the outer compressor and the turbine is slower than other turbines, which helps in reducing the centrifugal stress on the turbine and thus increasing the lifespan of the engine, but this type of engine tends to produce high level of noise. A revolutionary improvement was made to this engine by simply adding a low spool fan at the entry of the engine, this type of engine is called turbofan engine. The turbofan engine bypasses a lot of air, the narrowing duct provides a good amount of jet velocity to the bypassed air. The fan greatly improvises the working of the engine by sucking in more air thus increasing the thrust, that's why turbofan engines are highly fuel economical. A turbofan engine greatly reduces the amount of noise produced by the engine. By the synchronized working of all the parts, the turbofan engine continued to dominate the aircraft propulsion system. I hope this video helped you to understand the technology behind the working of a jet engine.